But you know, it's it's all well and dandy getting all this fantastic information. But when you're thrown onto that boat and you've got 24 hours to make uh, what cannot even be considered a super yacht into a super yacht standards for guests i mean it all just goes out the window you just mm -hmm. you just have to you know get get with it we think that this is the first in below deck history but you worked with both obviously captain sandy and captain lee i mean what a treat i mean what did you learn from both of them and how is this experience different for you and can you say which one was better <laughs> i think uh, they have overall very different uh, management styles uh, not least because i knew captain lee and i knew how he worked and knew how he liked things to be run he also gave me a a lot of he trusted me and he gave me the confidence to be creative and enjoy sort of my take on on chief steering it took some time to get used to sandy's um management uh, on the boat but equally she taught me a lot about myself and i think at the end of the season i understand what i mean by that um she really opened my eyes to things you know previously i wouldn't have um dealt with so well without her sort of making sure i did uh, you work really well with Chef Rachel, which, you know, we've seen some people in the past not work that great with her. You guys have a really good um, relationship. How, how has she kind of measured up to other chefs that you have worked with? Did you like working with her? I did. I absolutely loved working with her. Um, she was a sense of security for me coming back this season with everything that was on my plate. She was there to sort of pat my back. And she was a huge part of me making it through this season um, successfully. Uh, I think that all chefs are uh, in their own right um, can be quite hot headed and tricky. I think you have to, it's, I think the, the best skill I've learned in yachting today uh, is how to deal with a chef and how to um, say things when you should say them and when or, you, when, or, or hold off and, you know, wait for the right time on things, much like uh, the fact that our guests didn't like the food last trip. I didn't run to her and tell her that in the middle of a me in the middle of a meal. It wouldn't make sense. She'd get fiery. It wouldn't work. But it's having the right time and knowing what's good for your chef and when. Mm -hmm. I also feel like she handled stress better this season than she had in some past seasons. Like she's kind of learned some some mechanisms to get through those tough moments and tough charter guests. A hundred percent. I think so too. I just, I'm totally in awe of her though. I think if you can provide this sort of excellence um, for charter guests, as well as your crew for six weeks, 24 seven, it's pretty mesmerizing. And she really should have had a, um, had a sous chef, but she did on her own. So she's, um, she's a very talented, very talented chef. I always wonder why they don't let the below deck chefs have a sous chef. I know on every yeah. boat. On every yeah. boat of that size, you would usually definitely have one. That's why we always tend to find someone within the crew who has interest or likes yeah. to be in the galley and then they can sort of help out. Right. Now, um, did you know anyone who had been on the show before and had given you any advice or did you ever reach out to anybody? And what was that good advice that they gave you? Yeah, I am very fortunate to now be good friends with Kate Chastain, who was an idol of mine, you know, when I first started watching this, uh, the shows, and Hannah, and they both gave me fantastic advice. Um, I, I spoke to so many people. Daisy now is, is, a, is a good friend, so she's been giving me sort of tips of the trade. But you know, it's, it's all well and dandy getting all this fantastic information, but when you're thrown onto that boat and you've got 24 hours to make uh, what cannot even be considered a super yacht into a super yacht, standards for guests i mean it all just goes out the window you just mm -hmm. you just have to you know get get with it but no everyone's been very supportive and i'm so so grateful to have these wonderful people in my life do you think kate or hannah would ever come back to yachting i know they're you know hannah's a mom and kate's a soon-to-be mom do you, mm -hmm. could you see that in their future i don't know if i could i could see kate coming back or even hannah as a guest i think that's as far as they're going to you know get down and dirty with the steering again for more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.